I'm a docent here at the University Museum and I'm also a painting teacher at Oasis. And I recently had a class here um, and they were just enthralled with all the paintings. It's kind of fun because um, a lot of times you go into some modern art museums and people say, oh I can do that, I can do that, and you have to explain everything. But when we came in here, everybody was saying, how did he do that? How did he do that? So it was really refreshing to try and explain how we did it. It still is kind of mysterious because he did most of these paintings in just two or three hours, kind of a la prima, I guess is the right term. And um, his use of color is just outstanding. And one of the things that my class was very fascinated by was that he used a limited palette, because today we have all these colors, all these tubes of colors, seven reds, 15 greens, and you know, he just painted with one green and one red and one blue, and they're asking me, what blue, what red? And I'm going, I don't really know. And that's what makes it so much fun is to look at it and try and figure it out, especially this landscape. It's obviously maybe sap green and viridian green. I don't really know, but just as brush strokes and this part and here in the mountains and the clouds, it's just how he did that with just a, a stroke of his brush. I mean, as a painter and as someone who teaches people how to paint and teaches people about art, these are great, these are great paintings to talk about. This is your chance to come to the museum and visit us. And if you want a guided tour, one of us great docents will be happy to give you one until May 13th. There's a, a lot of portraits that are outstanding, probably equal to Gilbert Stewart in, the, in that they're so wonderful and great. So come and see us. We'd be happy for you to come and see us.